Hello everyone, this is Vikram and welcome to my channel. This is a brief introduction to our upcoming series on Terraform. So we are going to cover a lot of topics in this series, starting with need for infrastructure as code, what is IAC and common IAC tools, infrastructure provisioning versus configuration management, where we'll understand the differences between Terraform and configuration management tools such as Ansible, Puppet and Chef. Then we'll understand what is mutable and immutable infrastructure. So which is the uh, best infrastructure uh, method. Then we'll move on to Terraform and uh, how it works, its architecture and various components. Then we'll see how to install Terraform on all three operating systems like Windows, Linux and Mac. And then we'll see how to install VS Code because uh, we'll be using VS Code editor for modifying all our Terraform files. So we'll understand how to install VS Code and uh, Terraform extension for it. Then um, We'll be using AWS Cloud for provisioning infrastructure. So we'll understand how to create a free tier account and uh, how to create an IAM user. And then we'll understand IAM basics such as IAM users, groups, policies, permissions, etc. Uh, we'll also understand how to install and configure AWS CLA because we'll be targeting uh, AWS with Terraform. So we have to configure AWS CLA to talk to the AWS infrastructure. And then we'll move on to understanding HashiCorp configuration language because the entire Terraform is written in HCL syntax. So we'll understand, um, you know, various uh, HCL uh, components like syntaxes, um, etc. And then we'll understand Terraform CLI and how to run basic commands like Terraform init, plan, apply. Uh, so there are various, uh, you know, commands involved. So we'll understand each one of them. Then we'll move on to Terraform providers. Uh, we'll see official ones, community releases and the verified ones uh, and um, understand provider version constraints and uh, how to use Terraform specific version and its configurations. Then we'll move on to understanding Terraform resources, dependencies, Terraform registry, Terraform provisioners like file, remote exec and local exec. Um, you know, we'll understand each one of them in detail uh, uh, with examples. Then we'll understand Terraform state. Uh, what is state file and uh, how to log state file uh, then uh, how do we manage this state using local or cloud backend with um, you know aws s3 and dynamodb and then we'll understand how to manipulate this terraform state uh, so these are various um, you know topics but we'll also understand some of the interview questions as well as we discuss uh, these topics then we'll understand terraform input variables output variables uh, various data types, how to access these variables using Terraform console and then we'll apply all these concepts for provisioning EC2 instances, security groups, IAM, S3, DynamoDB, RDS, uh, ALB, ELB, ASGs, VPC and some uh, DevOps uh, Kubernetes specific uh, services like EKS, ECR etc. Uh, and then we'll understand uh, conditional expressions and uh, you know various functions. Basically we have various functions inside Terraform the, that we'll use in uh, Terraform scripts. So we'll understand um, you know, all these conditional expressions and uh, uh, functions and then we'll understand Terraform lifecycle rules, data sources and meta arguments. So basically Terraform manages um, you know your cloud infrastructure uh, but if you want to um, you know uh, get the data of the various resources then we can use uh, data sources. Then Terraform modules and workspaces will also understand writing our own custom uh, Terraform modules, how to import, uh, uh, how to import the, uh, so basically Terraform uh, manages the infrastructure for you, but uh, if the infrastructure is already set up and you wanted to manage it with Terraform. So we'll see how to import the existing infrastructure using Terraform import, and then uh, understand Terraform environment variables related to logging, debugging, etc. Then finally, we'll move on to integration of Terraform with Ansible, Jenkins, uh, we'll also write some Jenkins pipeline that can provision the infrastructure and also configure it with uh, configuration management tools such as Ansible. Uh, finally, we'll see uh, best practices of uh, Terraform and uh, various Terraform external tools to, um, you know, uh, we'll see like there are uh, plenty of them. Uh, we'll see how to use these uh, Terraform tools to write Terraform scripts, format them, um, you know, debugging them, etc. So these are the various topics that I'm going to cover. So stay tuned for the first video where we'll cover uh, the basics of infrastructure as code. And then we'll move on to understanding Terraform and how to install it. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.